come on, prove my theory be right. Okay, if we delete everything but red truth, then yeah. Water is going to the point which I was wondering this whole time. <laughs> it's exactly like with Butler again. Yeah, pretty good question, Butler. Yeah, I, I want to know too. Hey, so I was right, yeah. Okay, so it's pretty much confirming for now. So we have Beatrice and Beatrice, Beatrice and I. What's her backstory? Who's Beato? She looks like she's in love with him. Mm. Hello, Kuvadorian. That's a new soundtrack. Wait, that's a new soundtrack, I think. Who shall make the first move? And you asking him? Okay. In the rose garden, beautiful rose petals danced. The color of those petals was red. I would say they're gold or yellow. Did the fact that they were faced each other in this beautiful rose garden Proof or make claim to a red single truth? Wait, what? Those proof or make claim to red single truth? That must be why those roses are red. But in the language of flowers, roses re represent passion, not truth. The flower for truth is a forged new knot. Wait, what? Forget me not. And that flower is blue. What do you mean? What? Okay, I. I'm going to reread like this, like, uh, like on the LP archives. Like, I'm not going to like dive into this now. It will take forever, probably. Oh yeah, blue because blue truth. Yeah, makes sense. Okay, sorry. God damn it. I'm so excited about this tea party. It's so different from everything. Everything is my blue truth. Okay. The problem is, if Bato finds single red thing, then your whole theory is down. Let's see. Oh shit! Whoa! Wait, wait, wait. He's going to like. Whole Umineko theory. Oh my god. How I'm going to do theory about this. Okay. Uh, let's hear what Butter have. Also. Let me d just get some uh, soda. One second. Also, that's not new. That's that's the old soundtrack, but YouTube will hate this, so I will have to like cover it. So I'm sorry. Probably you can hear my voice being different right now, and a bit like in different tone, and more silent because of the music. Let's go! Come on, come on. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, Dr. Nanjo murder in the last game was very, like, interesting. I didn't actually get to the point of, like, a Nanjo murder yet in my notes at this point. So I'm interested in what he's going to say. I would still try to, de like, you know, disconnect myself from the episode 4 for the theory in the episode 3. So I will not probably, I will not, t actually no, I will say it in red that I will not take this into account when I'm making the episode 3 theory because I want this to be like separate thing. Okay, let's go. Okay. Okay, he can proclaim that actually, because Red Truth was introduced in the episode 2. So in the episode 1, we don't have confirmation of the 18 people on the island. Yes, okay. 
A co decyzyjny soundtrack akcji? Yes. Yeah, Th that was like his base theory for episode 3 actually, but it was shattered because of the red, red web and the 18 people thing. You can break through all of the murders in episode 1 by, suppo by supposing an unknown person X. Pretty much, yep. Furthermore, it's even possible to explain the mystery of Kinzo's evaporation from the closed room sealed by the receipt by making the bold assumption that Kinzo wasn't there in the first place. Unless Bato counters this with the red truth, the illusion of the witch, li witch, witch from the episode 1 has been completely smashed. The truth is valid. Oh, yo, yo, yo. The wedge of the blue roof that Butler had thrown stabbed right through the top of Butler's left foot. Wait, what? Like they're like shooting stakes at like each other? Like really? What? Was the red blood pouring out from there a protest being made by the by her red roof? What? Like they like actually fighting with the theories? Wait, what? Theory can't hurt you, can it? Okay, it hurts apparently. What? Okay, this is that, okay. Th that's bizarre. What the fuck? Bata shut one of her eyes tight, enduring an unbearable pain of the blue truth that denied her. What is this? That's so weird. Yes, that that's correct, but episode one is fine with this. Yeah, the second game. And there was like a letter after like they entered and other things. George Goda Shannon. Yeah, I, I actually talked about this in my episode 2 theory. I gave I wonder if Butler will come to some similar conclusions. Okay, what's your idea for that? The blue wedge that pierced Beata shock. She was resisting, fighting to pull it out. That's true. I don't re Yeah, I, I'm not going to like argue with Butler right now because I don't remember very specific parts of the game. For example, I don't remember if it was like mentioned at that time that where are the master keys? Like if Rosa have all five master keys at that point? Or did she lost one at some point? I don't think we ever had like confirmation of that. We like assumed. Yeah, I think we just assumed this whole time that Rosa have five master keys. We just had the information that she have master keys. So maybe she maybe it was possible for culprit to like steal the key from her. Huh. Okay, that confirms it. Yep. Good job, Butler. Come on, prove my theory be right. <laughs> Okay. 
What is going on? Like, what? Why Bertha is suddenly like getting hurt with blue through? What the hell? This is so weird. Oh my god. I don't know what's happening. The wedge that had been gradually losing its sparkle. And it had seems as though it was about to be put out. Regained its strong blue again. Thanks to Butler additional blue truth. And dug into battle again. Eating into her food. Butler without a cry of anguish at that pain. What is happening? This is hype. Okay. Okay, third game. Red Web of Truth. Uh, I didn't make a theory about this yet. Oh my god. Please don't shatter my initial ideas. Oh my god, I'm begging you. I actually made theory about this. About the six link truth, so. I have it in my notes already. Like, I have like half of the episode 3 like noted uh, at this point when I'm reading this. Okay. Yeah, that's exactly like in the episode, like your claim in the episode 3. So, yeah, also, this is like the most obvious explanation and the most like reasonable one i mean eva is the one that survived and stuff but it still doesn't match for me because i see no reason for her to kill uh george and hideyoshi hideyoshi could hideyoshi could die in the fight and could be like accidental death for example but i have no idea how george would die like like it's impossible i think maybe Yes, she even thought like I am a culprit. Really? Wait, 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 what? The matter of the Lord of Magic can be explained by 18th unknown person X. We are suggesting still that Kinzo is dead, basically. Good question. Huh. That's not in red. But you cannot just like you cannot throw red inside of like white sentence. You are not doing that properly. <laughs> Down the stairs. So he went from like some other way. He could go through the window, but he didn't flew. He could just like climb down through the window, you know? Like, why not? In the final stages of the first game, George suddenly vanished from the second floor of the guest house. Eva, who had been on the second floor, claimed that no one had come downstairs. But because of the blue roof, George could have snuck down to the first floor. And escaped while Eva was busy carrying crowds on Atsuki corpses outside. But by adding an additional red truth, Beato had denied that possibility. To go outside 
without going down the staircase to the first floor. He would have, uh, he would have had to leave by the window. But all of the windows had been locked from the inside. Hmm. Inside, yeah, you can just unlock the door. Okay. Okay, but at what point? Like, he could just unlock the door from inside, right? Like, window. Oh, you mean like to the to the main? Uh, yeah, when he like entered the mansion, he couldn't do this from the outside. So that means there was someone inside the mansion who let him in. Okay. Pretty much. Self-explanatory. Vada couldn't remove the blue wedge that was buried in her foot. The fake witch was burned more and more, but that force was blue. There's still nothing that shakes my belief to open any of the first three games. I'm reading this and I don't know if I want to put episode 3 theory anymore. Maybe you never saw that episode 3 theory. I don't know. I need to decide. I need to find time and... Why I'm reading this now? Before I'm doing episode 3 theory. Why? I'm halfway through. Yeah. How will you do that though? Okay. But wait, 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 was it like that 18 person X shattered in the episode 3 actually? Wasn't it? I'm not going to argue with Butler now, because I don't really know specifics, I said that already. But wasn't this like, he suggested Kinzo is dead, and someone else is like in the Kinzo's place, but then we saw actually Kinzo meeting with everyone? So, he's alive? Actually... Okay, if we delete everything but red truth, then yeah. If everything I see on screen might be fake, then meeting with Kinzo might be fake as well. Maybe he was never in the dining hall. Maybe Kraus and Natsuki was together with Culprit and they entered with like Culprit entered with Genji. Because Genji probably is in this as well. Enter the the conference room, the dining hall, and then they killed everyone. And the kings of figure and the situation we had like is for just for the viewer to mess up with my mind. Okay, let's just continue. 
I'm so going to dissect this thing. Oh my god. I don't know. It it, it will like make my brain just like being destroyed. I don't think I will need more than four episodes to deal with this. Don't give me any spoilers. Or hints. Or at least like big hints. So I can like figure the stuff out. Alone. Okay. Yeah, that's that's the thing. That like we never heard like in red that traps weren't involved in this. Like Red was uh, said in the closed rooms in the episode three that they weren't killed by traps or anything. It wasn't like the case here. Pretty much, yep. Yes. You are shattered, aren't you? Aren't you? Yep, he did the same claim in the episode 3. No, wait. He did. God damn it, not in the episode 3. He did it in the beginning of the episode 4. I'm sorry. Yeah, we saw him. Battle, first of all, it's not in red. Second, uh, second, you said that Kinzo. So that makes me suspicious that someone else is like acting as Kinzo here. Not the same. We already know how Red Truth works. Like Butler stuff made it really obvious that your Red Truth has like a lot of holes. They acknowledge the presence of Kinzo. It's still not proving that it was a Kinzo. They just all thought it's a Kinzo. That's that, that's like the easiest red truth ever. <laughs> yeah, I didn't thought about like the eel and bedrian bedrian thing and because he was worn out he would look different. But yeah, that would be like Easier to like pretend to be a Kinzo, basically. Yep, just like you, Butler. Yep, good one. Okay, this. Okay, okay. One second, one, one second, one second guys, no personal mistake, we should be a Kinzo by sight. First idea, that was actually Ushirumi Akinzo by, but different Ushirumi Akinzo, so that would make <laughs> in the story two butlers, two Beatrices by my theory. That apparently will be probably wrong because what I thought like a few minutes ago. And two Kinzos. What the fuck? Okay, another simpler explanatory is that no one saw actually Kinzo. Because by sight. So maybe they just he heard him. Maybe they were like. I don't know, they had like their eyes covered inside the dining hall for some reason. And they just, like, heard him entering. Still, by sight. Almost, oh, for fuck's sake. 
There are two, there were five Tate keys, even though there could have been more than five in the first game. Copter? Oh my god, battery are getting crazy with this. See? Also, battery is going to the points which I was wondering this whole time. How relevant Red Truth is according to, like, between the games. You remember, like, the first time when I started doubting Red Truth being relevant to the story, like, to the each game, or, like, in general to games, was Maria Death in the episode, uh, 3. Like, she said, I couldn't, uh, like, make my promise, you know, like, Battle said in Red that she will not kill Maria or something like that, and she actually killed her. And she said that Red in the episode 2, not in the episode 3. So that what started me wondering, like, is like Red from the previous episodes actually working in the next episodes? The same thing for the closed room. Closed room definition that we had in the episode 2. Does it work for episode 3 and 4? That's like, that's what I was like wondering this whole time. Yeah. Okay, so... You know what? Butler just showed me, like, uh, something very important, you know? As a, uh, like, to me, as a person who would like to make some theories. I should think for myself, actually. Like, and, so and create some bullshit theories, even if they make no sense. <laughs> like... I got like mis misread it by you guys, I think. I think I got misread it by you. <laughs> because I was wondering about this Red Truth being like... relevant to each chapter. And at some point, I think, while I was speaking and talking with you, in both in the comment section and in the Discord, I assume that the Red Truth is, re is relevant to every game, but I, it seems like Butler's idea was the same as mine this whole time. Like the Red Truth in the episode 2 maybe not be relevant to episode 4 and so on. So every game is different. Okay. That makes it, that makes my life easier. Was changed for the fourth game. Good one, good one. Good Okay, very good. Okay, that's uh, okay. Not different for the form game alone. Ha. Good one. Very, very, very good one. Very good one. Yeah. Pretty much. Holy shit, he's here! <laughs> Swaying that damn Giza came into view. Heh. <laughs> Is he trying to be some kind of knight? Blocking the path between me and battle? Battle <laughs> 
I think this is actually an under episode. I think I, I think I did episodes the way that the investigation was the one episode, and now this situation is the next episode. I think that's how I will cut it. What the fuck? Wait, what is happening? Um. What the f <laughs> Okay, uh we have a uh, dragon, I guess. I would expect anything in Mungneko but not dragons. <laughs> what the hell? His legend black cape spread as though it would swallow the world, becoming the snout of vast black dragon that came to me, at me, trying to swallow me in one gulp. Faced with that black dragon roar, I calmed my breathing and closed my eyes slightly. What the hell? This is like, wow. Yeah, pretty much. And you look ghosty to me as well. First trial of the fourth game. The black dragon was now its snout, its fangs, swallowed Butler whole. In that instant, Butler suddenly opened his eyes, and this is like the anime moment when he's like crushing his eyes and ho-ho! Okay. Third game, huh? The most crazy game. Was the third one. If we include the like red truth and everything. But the four, like, goddamn it, episode 4 is actually goddamn amazing. And I don't know. I cannot, like, process which, like, episode is the best in the Umineko. Like, holy shit, like, all of them are great. <laughs> Even in the fourth game. Okay. But his status was not. His status was not changed. Okay, but Beato. Yeah, right. He can still claim he's dead because Beato said that his status. Like, like health and death status, I think. That's how he, she said that. Was not changed. She never said in red that Kinzo is alive. So true, Butler can like still claim that he's dead. Like her red truth doesn't block it. Okay, I didn't actually thought that. It's like the... Oh, it's like the case with batteries. The next witch is called batteries. The next head is called Kinzo. Whoa, I actually... Oh my... Okay, that actually... This is like the most surprising one so far. I generally never thought about this for some reason. Maybe because I thought like, you know, like Ushimiya family head could be a woman, right? Like Eva, for example. 
And she was not, like, she cannot be called Kinzo. But on the other hand... Isn't that... Yeah, Eva got to be a head just because everyone else was dead. Like, in normal skins, circumstances, only male descendant could be the... Like, actual head, right? Like, uh, we had in the tip menu of Jessica that... Even if she's like from the main family, her, uh, her husband would become the head. So he would be called Kinzo. Oh my god! Oh shit, okay. That changed a lot of stuff. Oh my god. Because everyone acknowledged Kinzo and no one would like not recognize Kinzo on sight. It's exactly like with Butler again. We have two Kinzos. What? Who's. Okay, so now we have new question. Not who's batteries. Who's Kinzo? Who's Kinzo? Who oh, Patrice is here! Patrice is back! Holy shit! Finally! Who's Kinzo? Who's Kinzo? Who's Kinzo? Find Kinzo game! Yes! Yeah, because it would be like totally different person! Who entered the room? Who entered the room back then? Who entered the room? Was it? What if one of the servants is Kinzo? What if it's What if it's Goda? Yep. Oh. Are all of people then not one had multiple different names? What the actual fuck? <laughs> Oh my god, Butler is learning from his own. I mean, yeah, you are another Butler. Shit! I I so want to make episode three theory. With these informations, I so want to do this, but I still cannot. To to keep a formula of what I did up to this point, and but like, oh my god, my notes for episode four and everything will be so so mad. This this would be madness. <laughs> Like I said, every single game, he's already burned. He's already burning. Like, I think I talked about a uh, time of death for Kinzo in episode 1 theory. I think it was episode 1. When we still didn't have the red truth, like, it's entirely possible that he could be burned before. I think I told about this in the episode 1. I'm not entirely sure. If you want to confirm this, you can check out my other videos and there's like episode 1 theory. Or maybe I did this in the episode 2. One of them. I think I talked about this. <laughs> I had a fight 
that time had passed since your death. Yeah, because, well, it's burnt corpse. Yep. Just like me and the butler from Asumu, eh? You don't need that in blue butler. Stop like throwing nails. <laughs> Woo! That's a lot of shotgun bullets. Whoa. I swear, this episode have like a lot of potential uh, background for desktop. Several Dune and Blues uh, takes bored into kill the ghost. Their terrible destructive power wouldn't let the ghost recover again. Shit. Time spent with you. I have a general chills. Holy fuck. It is pressing along with the shadow of the black dragon as golden flower petals scattered. Shiromiya Kinzo became a gold colored cycle and disappeared. Even after death, she had fought for the sake of the woman he loved. There's no doubting that your love and madness were real thing. That was who couldn't pull out the blue wedge that pierced her foot. She realized that she was on the verge of death. Oh my. I don't know. I mean, actually, episode 4 is supposed to be the end of Umineko, right? Because, like, I mean, not the end of Umineko, but end of the question arcs. And question arcs, I assume, are like main game and answer arc, which is Umineko Chiru, will, is like. The same thing, but with more information? Maybe? I don't know. I did not even like read synopsis for Chiru, like what the fuck Chiru is. I I can I can just imagine. I can just imagine. I wish I would be here. Like I would know about Umineko. And I was into visual novels like I'm now, so I would read Umineko when it comes out. I wish I would like think like, holy shit, this is the last episode. Oh my god! Like, oh my, yeah. <laughs> Okay. Your family is dead. I want to like, like, let you like know. Unless they not. Why you want to die so much? I don't even real. I uh, God damn it. Episode 4 is like shattering my episode 3 theory about Beatrice. I won't accept this. I'm doing episode 3 as I thought. Because it's just a fun... Even if it's wrong, it will be a fun theory to make. And I will just correct it in the episode 4. Or else I will get mad and I will like despair and everything. Oh. 
Yeah, pretty much. But how they know each other that they died? Died? Oh, it could be that a corporate just entered Jessica's room, said to her that Josh already know more. She was shocked. She got hit in the head, got unconscious, corporate left. And that way she knew about George's death, or at least she thought that George, George is dead. And then called Butter and sent it to him. And then uh, Culprit came back and finished her. Yeah, that, that that's entirely possible. So they didn't have to like actually meet. She could just hear that from the Culprit himself. Didn't thought about that. Yeah. Also, we need to assume that it's like a clone of the key to the shutter. <laughs> to the gardening shed. You didn't explain shit, actually. In the episode 4. I'm sorry. You didn't explain the gardening shed. Like, you only, like, mentioned before, like, maybe there's a clone and stuff. You don't explain how they escaped from the dungeon and how they died, actually. And that, like, the entrance was closed. Why, ma how Maria was poisoned, when was poisoned? That's not an explanation, Butler. You just claim that, hey, my blue truth is explaining everything, deal with this. Oh shit, that's a lot of logs. Okay. Beatrice, who couldn't dodge, had several blue stakes driven into her and, and was squared. Bato grabbed at them, trying to pull them out somehow. <laughs> Die is playing, what the hell? Is she like actually dying? What is happening? Wait, what? I swear, die, die, I swear, I don't want to cry for Beatrice again, please don't do this to me. I did that once, and I regretted this. Don't do this to me. Enough of pain. Ooh. Oh my god, we're going to learn some kind of like tragic backstory for battle again, I think. Oh, the anguish. With both hands, battle firmly grasps one of the blue stakes. Naturally, the power of the wish denying blue truth burnt her hands, unable even to hide her tears and pain. Beato howled and tried to pull the stakes out with all her might. <laughs> Literal chills. Oh my god. Red. Okay, that's the last bastion for her, like the big battle, for example, between her and Virgila in the episode 3. I actually explained that in my theory on episode 2 if you want to check it out. 
I got good. I mean, not explained. I just had my thoughts about this. Unless she was the one doing it. Which also is my theory from the episode. Certainly, at the time Rosa witnessed gold butterflies gathering and, the f and fixing the marshmallow by the miracle of magic. <laughs> what will be the answer? Sinfio Oh, he cannot explain this actually. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, brown tubes are back. You can't use that kind of argument. So we have to prove that the magic exists. Yeah, because just it's just their claims. They're like limitations of human minds. They could just sow something, be surprised, and thought that's a that's a magic. Yeah. Like the towers, for example, in the in the game, in the third game, you could just say like they were just projected by some projectors or something, probably. Yeah, those words, the plus takes it out and even brighter light, knocking my hands away. <laughs> As Butler is now, even if I pull up a w witness for each individual bit of magic and demand an explanation, we will probably use some kind of move to deny all of them. Not just the magic with the marshmallow I showed Rosa, but all the miracles of magic. So I can no longer even claim to be a witch without questioning him about something like how Marshmallow was fixed. I'm such an inferior position that I must fight over such trivialities. いつか破れる日が来るのが当然だと。我らは、バトラーを破れるためだけに、今日まで戦ってきたというのか。ああ。I oh. mean, maybe. Like I said, like from the beginning, she always said like, try to defeat me and everything. And in the episode four, she was like, try to kill me actually. But why? Why you wanted to lose him? Well, the Witch of Miracles wasn't on your side. 
トアラワには絶対に勝つという絶対の意思がある今のその奇跡は完全に失われたそして絶対の意思はバトラに宿る私には万一の奇跡は絶対にないでも奇跡も絶対にない日が正しいのかバトミラクルフセルティンティン I swear they paraphrasing the Lambda, Lambda Delta here and Burn Castle here. Surely, I'm not. Shiwako Nuri Shurio Monai. Mimi Tsuiru Sarata Jujiku. Hai Boku Atai Rarere Made. Ruin to Aragao Dakeni. What's happening? Does she actually die? How, how they created like four more episodes? What? I mean, there's eight episodes, right? Together. Or seven, I don't know anymore. I look into butter eyes. That which was reflected inside them wasn't me. Ooh. The figures of the little sister waiting for his return. And the family he had to bring back were reflected in those eyes. To him, my existence is already not even that of an individual. Obviously, from the very beginning, he has been trying to deny the individual that I am. <sighs> the third one? Or the fourth one? Yeah, that was, that's about the third one. When they like started to like actually... I, I wouldn't say bonding together, but maybe... Like he started to trust Beatrice. Yep. バトラがコロッと騙されたのな。普通に騙し続けてれば良かったんだ。誰なんだよな。あれじゃ。本当の勝ちじゃないんだよな。あ、そしてはちょっとそう proud。仕事で無縁ばくだよ。Battle had been run through with several blue stakes, squared over and over, the ground was still standing. Because of that, she wasn't even able to fall over, and still looking up into the sky, was sound in place. That tragic form might have been a fitting end for the cruel witch who had endlessly toyed with the 18 people's lives and who had killed constantly for hundreds and thousands of years. You remember how I like questioned? I think in, in one of the previous episodes, I think. How long this game is actually taking place? I think after the we learned about two butlers. Like she said like she started the game with the butler and it was like years ago. Because she started with another butler. So th th it's not like this game is only... There was a game continuing before like even like this game started like Omineko. So a backstory of games. But for hundreds and thousands of years? Does it mean maybe... Wait. Wait, does it mean maybe that like thousand years ago there was like descendant on Ushiromiya family who actually was also called Butler? Is that what we are getting at here? Wait, and he was like Kinzo grandchild, right? So if the Ushiromiya family is so old, 
And Kinzo is the name that's like possessed by each like Okay, okay, wait. So, wait. So, Beato started the game with Kinzo. And Kinzo is the Ushiromiya family head. The game, thousand years ago. And she says she's continuing this. Then, it's like it continued through like several generations now, for some reason. And back then there was a butler as well who was grandchild of of the Kinzo that was back then. What? Gently, as though someone was moaning over something, the rain began to fall. Amid that rain, Beat was soaked and crucified. What chance does she have, though? <laughs> She don't even want to resist. Beato, who are you? What's the deal with you? Are you really evil? I'm starting to question once again if Beato is actually evil or not. Oh my god. Wow. The blue theory about which does not exist. Repeat it. The move that Butler is using all the time. What is happening? Why? What? What's going on? What's the deal here? God is in so much pain now. She literally cannot stand. I mean, she's standing, but she's like pissed all over the place. Yeah, pretty much. Like she said, like she can still fight, but it would be meaningless. That's what she said before. Like literally, like to make him disapprove witches. He she, she, she like about the marshmallow candy and everything. She would like need to go into trivial things to make him acknowledge her existence. And she gave up on this and just decided that's not worth this. So yeah, Butler is right here. She just stopped and gave up. What is going on? Who is... Oh. Yeah, he said that. He said that, yep. So we have to... Fight fair and square. Oh my god. Butler. Yeah! 
Yeah, pretty good question, Butler. Yeah, I, I want to know too. Another great question. Give me motive for this whole situation. <laughs> okay, what's your favorite move? Repeated, huh? I guess. Delusion. Yep. Yep. Look, you run away, huh? He don't want to win by default. He actually want to win against her. Is this soundtrack new? I swear, like every... Umideko, oh my god, Umideko has so many soundtracks, I'm like losing track of what I heard or not. He's doing actually the thing that Beato did for him in the episode 3. In the beginning. She did pr practically the same thing. At the time, Butler was broken. He didn't want to start the game. He just was like a... Yeah, he was broken. And Beato basically made him to fight again. He's doing exactly the same thing for her now. <laughs> Let me escape. She so want to die and like, what? Why? What's your backstory? Like proper backstory, not just Kuvadorian. I swear, Kuvadorian Beato and this Beato is different. And the Beato from thousand years ago is different as well. I swear there's like... I'm... My, my notes are going to be like total mess. お、そして、人の Damn, that, that's just pure hate. Holy shit. Butter eyes burn to the flames of hatred. Yep, like I said. That's why he cannot see magic, because he don't have love. He cannot see it without love. That famous words that everyone is mentioning everywhere, like on Discord, in the comments, in the like, game, in every single place, god damn it. How important are these words? Probably the most important phrase in the Umineko, I don't know. They... they... To be honest, they look like total opposites now. Like, even more than usual. It seems like... I thought at the beginning that Beato is like the... Basically... Like a... Like... Embodiment of hatred. And it seems like it's otherwise. It seems like... Butler is actually the one that hates. And it seems like Beato might be the one that actually loves. Maybe she lost someone. Like Kinzo. Maybe she lost someone else. Maybe she lost a love. And she still remembers that love. And she wants to die to be together with that person or something. I don't know. But it seems like they like... They like switch places. The time had long sa uh, since passed during the which pit uh, pitiful behavior would have earned his compassion. 
After being tricked once, but will never sympathize with me again. Yep, episode 3. Oh, call back to episode 2. You cried wolf. Is that important one? Does it mean you still have a way to win, actually, huh? Or at least get a, like, tie? She's really like a butler from episode 3. Like the beginning, like he was so broken, he had enough, he didn't like wanted anything. And in the end of the episode 4 as well, after he learned the dual butler stuff, he also had enough, didn't want to continue. Wow, what, what is going on? Of endlessly being toyed with by witches. Yeah, like, Lambda Delta, like I said, she was like... Especially with Lambda Delta. It seems like Lambda Delta is like overpowering uh, Beatrice, like... She blackmailed her, basically, in one of the, like, previous episodes. I don't remember what it was, like... I think, yeah, it was beginning of the episode 3, I think. When they were talking, I think, maybe. This, this might be like the very important dialogue right now. Yeah, lost. I made that contract with demons. Okay, we just get like bombed with a lot of stuff. I swear we are getting a lot of stuff. We are getting a lot of stuff right now. Lightning. The world was smashed with white. And I will cut here just to take a little bit break. Because I need like to go somewhere for a second, so we'll be right back. Okay, let's continue. Fitting last moments for the ruler of Rokenjima. <laughs> okay. Still, pierced by the blue stakes, we out of fear face the rainy sky and let out a cry of laughter. Then she slowly raised her face and stared at the butler. Oh shit. Whoa, that face changed a lot. She's so pissed and like. Okay. Yep, that's his conviction. お前だってそうだろうが。俺が魔女は居てもいいからなんて言い出し。そんな甘っちょろい勝ち方が納得できなかったから。以前会話わざと合わせて最後にぶっ壊してくれたんだろうが。ああ。そうさ。俺は前回
Nah, he is pitting you, huh? My golden witch batteries. That have many win meanings. She went crazy again. Okay, what you gonna tell in red? When Bato yelled, the blue stakes that had pierced her chest blew into bits and disappeared. However, the blue wedge that had pierced her foot in the very beginning did not vanish. So she can like basically destroy every blue but not the first one that was in the first episode. That's what I get from the symbolism of this. Yep. Okay. Okay, you actually calling that in red. So we have confirmation. That Kinzo is Kinzo, so the head of the Ushimiya. Kinzo as grandfather, not Kinzo as Ushimiya family head. Kinzo as grandfather, the Kinzo that we know in the tips menu is already dead. Can we assume that though? I think so, because we cannot say that every single Kinzo after this Kinzo is dead. So yeah, she's like, like 90% I'm sure that she's mentioning this Kinzo. Yes, that's why we're still operating on 18x. So Kinzo's dead and someone's like take his place. I wonder if she will say what I thought. I uh, I didn't. I think I mentioned this only on Discord for now. That no more than 18, that means that can be less than 18. Oh, so no more than 17 now. Hey, so I was right, yeah. No more than 18. So it was 17 all this long time. So I was correct. I was correct. Ah. Finally something I got right. Okay, Beato, but one more thing. It's still no more than 17, so we are suggesting that there might be le still less. Uh, but how does it, like, make any sense? Like, everyone meet everyone during the game. The only one who wasn't, like, met really was Kinzo. Is it possible to lower the number even more? I will think about this, but like I, I, I'm very like specific in red, in red text. That text is an 18 person. Yeah, pretty much. Oh wait. Okay, so, oh, wait, 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 okay, that, that changes stuff, actually, I don't know, oh my god, my brain, I think I'm recording too, too long. <laughs> yeah, no more 17, so, basically, Kinzo is disappearing from this whole tree, and we have 17 people. So, we cannot, s oh, no, it doesn't change anything. Because Kinzo is not here, it's 17, and one of the characters is Kinzo now. So, it's, it's, it's still, like... 
Yeah, exclude person X. I mean, that's still person X who is Kinzo, basically. Yeah, but we still have like 17 person X because Kinzo. If Kinzo is dead, then he didn't exist at like. at all anyway. So both, not more than 18 and not more than 17 works at the same, so... Okay, that's that, that doesn't change anything actually. If we exclude Kinzo and some... well, Let's just like, for the purposes of explaining, let's just put like Kraus as Kinzo now. If there's 17 people, then we just make Kraus Kinzo, that's all. Like, they acknowledged him as Kinzo. Great. And Kinzo could be dead, because... whatever. It doesn't matter. It's just confirming, actually, stuff. Also, that means that Red Truth is... Actually, yeah, okay, she didn't lie. Like I said, no more than 18. Yeah, she didn't lie in the previous ones. Yeah, okay. So, no more than 17, Butler. No more than 17. Once again. The blue edge that had sent Beato in place broke apart. There was no longer anything piercing her. The scars on her body had disappeared completely. There stood, just as Butler had hoped for, the figure of Majestic Golden Witch, who ruled Rokenjima. Oh my god, we are going another battle. Oh my god, that's why this, this tea party is so long. We have like multiple theories about every single episode. Okay, let's go with the 17 people then. And with the knowledge that someone else can be the Kinzo. Let's go. Are you sure? Yeah, true. I don't remember, like... I... Who didn't have alibi? Nanjo? Like, there was like multiple things that like... There was a lot of like... Stuff in episode 1. I don't want to think about like previous my previous theories right now. I will just mash them together and figure something out for episode four later on. But if you want to check individual episodes of theories, then you can check it out on my channel because I have episode one and two theories up, and episode three probably is up when you see this, but maybe not. I don't know yet. Probably it is. Next close room. Eva and Skiteyoshi. Yeah, that's one that I was like... I couldn't explain and I used the devil's proof. I don't know how they could like open the door and close the door. There is proof? Oh! Okay... Okay, 
Okay, that like kind of like closing some of sense. What? With both the victim and the perpetrator in the same room. So he was inside. So how he closed the door? That's my. Okay. Yes, okay, true. Yeah, I remember that. Like, I, like episode one, theories were like... They, like, there was a lot of fake deaths in episode one. I would, I would say. That's all I have to, like, say. Like, there was, like, a lot of fake deaths in theory for episode one. Yeah, but where are they? That's actually valid, and to be honest, I didn't thought about this because I had in my mind uh, the closed room with Karen disappearing because there was red truth about. No one is hiding in the room, basically. And I, for some reason, I think I thought about this to be the case for this as well. And we never had specified in red that no one is hiding in the room. I didn't thought about this through, actually. So yeah, Butler, good job. Well, it looked like it, but also Steak was next to him, he could fake it No problem All of the survivors has alibis Oh my god, my notes are going to be so fucking crazy How will I even do that? How long will it take to make theory for this? Let us include them? What? No kind of human or dead person on the island could have killed Cannon. Okay, you didn't say in red that Cannon is, was killed, like he's dead. So my point still stands. That he faked death with help of Nanjo, for example. Because this is the alibi for like murdering, not for helping. So Nanjo could help him basically fake his death. If they have alibis to not murder anyone, it doesn't mean that they don't help with like pretending to be dead or something, you know? Okay. Valid. Valid as well. It was not confirmed in red yet that he didn't kill himself. I think you think that's possibility that he could fake it? Okay, and this is the part where at least one point in my episode 1 theory will get crushed or not, I think. Okay, so it's pretty much confirming for now. 
It's confirmation for me. She will not repeat that, right? You're not, you're not, you're not, he's alive! Yeah, he faked his death! So you're suggesting accident? Why you why you so want him dead? Or maybe it's something wrong with me. Why I want him to be alive? <laughs> Okay, Butler, it's you against me now. <laughs> it's also valid, but you need to explain then how the murder happened after Nanjo took him to the, like, uh, the servant room when, where Nanjo was killed and Kumasawa. Actually, as I stated in my theory in like episode 1, we cannot determine that the stake was actually in his chest. Like he was found in the with the stake next to him or in his hand. And the only one who had close look to him was Nanjo. If they worked together, then he could fake it. It was never blushed into his chest. Okay, it's valid. So I was wrong? Or she just don't want to shatter it yet? Yeah, exactly. Okay. I never thought about Maria being like a murderer, like like actual murderer who killed people. I didn't thought ever Maria for being like capable of like killing someone. Maybe helping Rosa or something. But yeah. Okay. Yep, pretty much. Like, there's a lot of people who could fake that. Almost.あの三人の関連も封鎖されていた。どれかが替え玉自体の可能性は十分にある。身元不明死体について、その身元をすべて保証する。Wow, Beato is going all... Oh my god. Okay. Beatrice is back. Holy shit. Okay. Okay. So she's shattering my plans as well right now. Then you can explain the simultaneous murders. What? Butler, you are like mad genius. Like, holy shit. Who would thought about this? What? Shit, Butler! <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> yeah, it is ridiculous. That's why I never thought about this. Holy fuck! I knew what I was suspected. Like, sus, but... 
Like, to be involved to that extent? Wait, what? Okay, I... Uh, Umineko. Umineko. Why I never discovered this nowhere before? Why I never read that before? Holy shit. Maybe that's good I never read that before, because now I can share my experience with you guys. You can talk about this in the description. I mean, in the comment section and in the Discord as well. Yeah, she was okay. Read about Natsuki. Okay, what's going to what is going to be? What is going to be? Okay. Also, if she like confirms death of the first Twilight, that means my theory about Rosa being the culprit is like totally misread and wrong. Because she died in the episode one in the first Twilight, then. If she guaranteed the identities. Okay. Well, episode 4 theory uh, that will like include every other episode will defi definitely be different from what I've bought before, what you can find on the channel right now. <laughs> There were no un unidentified corpses. All of survivors had alibis. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm forgetting about traps. God damn it. I s like, I swear, like, Beato read truth about traps in just like. Uh, sixth close room thing it just like stuck into my head for s no particular reason and I think about this like being a truth to every fucking single case ah just stop trap it not not happened in episode 3 with Nanjo I think it was proclaimed in red if I remember correctly and it was proclaimed in the closed rooms in the episode 3 as well. So these were the only cases where the trap could not be involved. Could be! I'm losing my mind. I'm literally lo oh my. <laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> Lure by that letter. It's gonna be unknown. Yeah, that's definitely what happened. But how do you explain the gun then? Guys, let me know. Do you like Umineko melting your brain? I don't know, I, maybe I'm strange and I just enjoy having my brain melted by this. <laughs> Very good, okay. My theory for this actually was like some kind of ambush from other people who fake their deaths. But that's not the case anymore because they're actually dead. Okay. The instant battle of knowledge had defeat in the first game. The stakes of the blue truth once again fused her chest, letting out the terrible sound. Okay. 
the second game when when the butler basically broke when rosa was extremely extremely weird <laughs> to say at least and the ending was like there was like possible to answer the ending for multiple i think i had like two yeah i had two theories about ending of episode two but I just barely pulled out the stakes that had pierced her chest. But even though there was no hole left behind, she still seems to be bearing a deep wound that was letting out a massive amount of blood. And she was tormented, but an equally, equally fused pain. But Beata grinned, grinding her teeth, and pushed for the next game to start. But I won't feel sympathy. I won't feel sympathy for her. Just by her existing, just by her existing there, would have been killed and harassed over and over. And Angus, uh, Angie, Angie's, Angel, Angel, and Angel been burned with a future of his isolation. <笑>オッケー。妹に対しはしない。Actually, I will take a break from recording a little bit because I need to record something else. So I will be back here for like in one hour or so. So be right back. Okay, I'm back. Let's see. Uh, yes, I loaded the game. So we are like. Yeah, okay. Also the second game, let's go. It's probably the same episode, so I'm not saying like hello, welcome and stuff, but you can still subscribe and like check Discord and etc. So yeah. <laughs> okay, let's go. Right after it happened. Why I say like after? Not like close to the murder where the six were. Oh, yeah, yeah. You like suggested that Kulprit just like died by himself, like accidental. Death. Yes, that was in my theory as well, like you can see on the channel. And I thought like it was Rosa. Okay, Beato, calm down with the red. Oh my god. Okay, uh, Beato is shattering my theories, so I don't know if I will be able to re do episode 3 theory actually. Maybe I should stop reading and just do episode 3 theory. Nah, nah, nah. I, I, will, I will detach myself from the episode 4. I can do that. I can just stop thinking about episode 4 and then do the theory. Because I want to approach them and make some kind of like middle thoughts before entering like the main thing, so... I should be able to do that. Let's have the key inside. To the instant throw the unsealed envelope and the key. Okay. レイハイドの扉が大トロックだった可能性がある。Interesting。つまり事件前に会場しておいて扉が閉まりきらないように石でも挟んでおいた。オッケー。そして鍵をマリアに預けた。オッケー、グッアイディア。I like it. Hmm. Good one. Oh my god. Okay. 
It's another viable option. I didn't thought about this actually. Yeah, I, I generally didn't thought about this. So good job, Butler, again. Yeah, about pretending being dead. Like, all of them had, like, sliced insides. You cannot really, like, pretend being dead with this case. So, I'm actually not buying that. She will probably proclaim in red that they were all dead. No surprise here, actually. Okay. Wow. She she just like saying cred so he will not give the same idea that it's with the first twilight on the first game that they like shot themselves each other. Okay. Yep, she's protecting herself from this. Yeah. Actually, okay. Oh my god, but this is like getting crazy now. That's like another web, or another red web of truth. Okay. She got in serious. It was a thundering exchange of red and brute truth. Oh shit. Ugh. It's like appearing and disappearing. And only. To be honest, I. Like. By these flashes of the blue truth stakes, only Pato is suffering in this game, actually. I don't know. I just realized that. Only Pato. Like, Pato is the only one who's suffering in this game. Butler is not hurt by this. And Pato is getting hurt every time that Butler is using, like, valid blue truth. That actually sucks. Well, he lost his family and stuff, yeah. But, yeah, you know what I mean. The stakes and wedges of blue truth uh, that I sent flying attacked one after the other, and Bato cut them down one after another with her red truth. Her red treasured sword knocked them out. But the blood she would lost from the fi uh, first game was probably serious. This intense exercise was putting an even greater strain on her. I could also see her breath through rocks. That's why I can't hold back now. I'll corner that witch. This time, I will break through her. Okay. What kind of crazy idea do you have? Okay. Butler, your claims are fucking ridiculous. You can make theories like that, Iwumineko? So that means I can go even crazier, right? I can go into like total bullshit fantasy. Like... Bombs in food? Why I didn't thought about what? Okay, I didn't thought about this because this is like ridiculous as fuck. But that's valid strategy actually. That might work. Still, it doesn't explain why they like stopped with uh sweets. Yep.
How they were uh, though packed with the sweets then? That's the part that doesn't work. But Beato failed to knock down the blue wedge as it flew at the angle like a breaking pitch. Okay, so that actually struck her. Interesting. It let out a loud thank and growled, gouged itself deep into her left shoulder. However, even as the breaking pitch hit her, the laughter didn't seem to be stopping. Yet I get it. Even I think that theory is pretty screwed up. Yeah, he's just throwing everything. So maybe that's good that I'm throwing every theory I can think about. Maybe I'm not that stupid actually. <laughs> oh my god, this is ridiculous. Oh, and she agreed on that, okay, interesting. So she wants to shatter it later, probably, because like small bomb still don't answer why they were stuffed with candies and packed, like, unless they were, maybe they like were forced to eat candies and within candies were the bomb, so it like exploded and they were like stuffed with candies because, yeah, because candies were inside the stomach. That sounds so... that sounds so bad. That sounds so bad. <laughs> yeah, just can Cannon Room. We know that... And Jessica Cannon Room was the first time, I think, when we had the closed room definition in red. Also, we had the information that no one is hiding inside. So, what's your explanation? Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is like the main thing that you think about episode 2. This is pretty much the same. Yep. Yeah, and that's the part when I think that Cannon faked his death. I mean, that's one of the, one of the possibilities. It's not like 100%. But it's a possibility that Khan faked his death and he was alive back then. But yeah, that's not the case anymore. Maybe there was no Khan. Pretty much, yeah, that that's like stating obvious. Okay. Is there anyone who looks similar to Canon? Josh is too, uh, too, too, too high. But his hair is kind of like Canon. But he's too high. Maybe it's like totally different person. Someone we don't know, just some random guy. I swear, if you go into like double count to read, okay. What if you have like 36 people on this island actually? I mean, not on island, like in Umineko. What if you have double on everyone? What the fuck? <laughs> I just said 36, but that's not that's that's bad calculation. Don't don't mind me. Just don't don't think about this. Any other person was canon. I knew they would throw that. Oh my god, are you serious? So Shannon is probably as well heritage in, uh, uh, like name as well. They will just throw Shannon as the under name. And pro probably Genji as well. Like Genji and Dronove. 
like both Genji. Maybe Ronova, maybe Ronova was like the first servant. Because they both have the Genji name, so maybe there was like Ronova Genji. And then he passed his name to Genji, the one we know, and he was serving up uh, under Kinzo, under current Kinzo. Oh my god, because they were like, the, like these three were the closest one to Kinzo. If his name is Heritage, then maybe the names of the three servants that are like the closest to him are also Heritage. What the actual fuck? Help! <laughs> also, that makes sense. Also, according to my thoughts on, epi on the ending of episode 2. When I was like checking the tip menu for episode 2 and I was checking the Jessica and Khan descriptions. If you go back to that episode you can see uh, and hear it. Um, and the like uh, video for episode 2 theory. There was like... I just didn't believe that Khan was like dead basically. He was supposed to like... I cannot touch you because I will disappear and and stuff like that, you know, but at the end, or in the descriptions, they actually like hugged each other at the end, so that was supposed to not happen, and that was like kind of contradiction, and there was like, something else as well. So that makes perfect sense that it could be someone else, because Canon as Canon was dead, but not really. Also, the thing with Canon, actually. When you think about this, wait, I thought about the canon, yeah, in ep episode 2. Wow, I would have to dig so much in Discord, like go back, back to the story. I was like mentioning a lot about canon name, like what if canon name is just his furniture name? You know, like what if there could be multiple canons or like something like that? I, wait, I actually figured this out back in the episode 2. Or at least something similar. Okay. A sound like watermelon being squashed around out, and the blue wedge was buried deep into the battle left flank. Maybe it hit a bad place, but since it seems to be really effective. After leaning over and moaning for a while, she laughed it off, as though trying to make it seem like no big deal. Yeah, I get it. That must have hurt a lot. Okay. Think you'll never be able to open your mouth and stay on the game board. Yep, pretty much. A game board butler is like helpless. Okay. This is so weird. When Bata hold the wedge that had pierced her was blasted away. But the woman remained, and she continued to be tormented by the fierce pain. Okay, let's go. Dino game of Taiwan of Sasin. Not you, but I'm here to see the Tanin Kitino. How it's seen it. You are team and ex to get Sarajamo Yuko no has it. Okay. Akade Hano Marta. Nakiba. Dino game of Mora no Morda. Okay, let's go for the third game. Actually, one second. Last murder of the second game. Three who died in Atsuhi. Anatsuhi room.
what the hell is this? Okay, it's pretty late of not that late. Wait, who died? Uh, like three people who died at last in the episode two. I don't remember actually. I forgot. Who died at the la at the end on episode two? In the room of Natsuhi? You know what? Give me a second. I just like... Let me really fast check something. Because I don't really... One second. Where is it? Uh Okay, I have this. And at the end we had Genji. Wait, what? Okay, I don't remember. I will ask Discord after this. Because I want to know, like, right now. Okay. She's giving kind of easy. I mean, not easy. She's proclaiming a lot in red. So she's generally losing, actually. The instant she acknowledged the, her loss in the second game, two blue stakes gouged through battle chest in this time. The witch lungs were gouged, as were her uh, intestines. Her face twisted in anguish, her body twisted as she gasped in pain. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy shit, what a place. She just like throwing mind game on him to make him give him like bad decision making basically. <laughs> Okay, let's go. Six in cross rooms, yep. Yes. Okay. At the time, I theorized that Grams was the culprit. Oh, yeah, true. Oh my god. Please, Omineko, I'm begging you. I discussed these rooms. I mean, I didn't discuss these specific rooms on Discord. But when I was working on this, we're talking about backdoors to the boiler rooms and everything, actually. Omineko, you are going to either confirm or destroy my thought process right now. Mm.
I will stand by my theory for now in the episode 3 whatever will happen now and I will adjust this later in the episode 4 I think it really feels so weird doing episode 3 when I read it this it feels so weird and that after killing the other 5 uh, and uh, stringing the keys across each room he was constructed his own closed room in the boiler room and that there he would die in an accident while carrying out some kind of scheme burning to death in the boiler but now I've declared that Grams was already dead so I've denied my own theory myself ironically enough however okay that's true that's, that, that's like totally true Actually, not bad. Uh, okay, we're just confirming the things that we knew in red, okay. Yeah. Yes, but there's uh, a problem with backdoors, which we discussed on Discord. Ah, I hate this. And what's more, the backdoor information is from the episode one. It's actually episode one information. I, I, I swear, I don't like this. I, I, I so don't like this. Mm. What the fuck? Okay. Okay, Butler. Um, guys, uh, from now on, I'm going to get like really crazy with my theories, so don't kill me. Because I will make a lot of bullshit, probably. <laughs> like, Butler just confirming for me I can do whatever I want. <laughs> oh my god. That were fatal. Hmm. Yeah. How do you deal with this? What? When the five other than Kinzo were killed. Why you say five other than Kinzo were killed? The killer was definitely in the same room as them. Okay, because Kinzo was dead, so it was someone else, so the... Okay... Yes. Yeah, that like makes sense, but how do you... You hide... He hides in the last room or what? To return just the key to the very last room. Yes. Butler is actually genius. I feel retarded. Oh my god! That makes so much sense! Okay, Beato, I swear, if you destroy this... Oh my god! 
he actually hit her with this. Oh my god. Okay, like this, like. Okay. I swear, how the fuck Umineko is not ending in episode 4? How? It sounds like pretty much the end to me. She couldn't fully block the retort of that mistake. Beata was pushed back by the blue wedges that were unleashed on her. One after another, finally failed to block one, and once again took a ever wound. As she howled in pain, she pulled out the blue wedge that had pierced her right arm. Beata's entire body had been torn apart and pierced with blue wedges, stakes and plates over and over again. And now she was totally covered in blood. But even so, Beata grinned, crackling as though this was amusing. This is crazy. Wow. Wait, so... His parents actually found the corpses first? I didn't thought about this. I actually forgot about this, not that I thought. I was... I, I thought like Nacho found the bodies first. But maybe I was wrong, okay. Oh my god. Also, we still don't have reason. We still don't know what's Butler's scene. I have a theory about that, actually. And we don't know the motive for all this. Maybe it will be like revealed like at the end. Okay. Oh, Butler is like losing it. She's so like playing on his nerves. Like literally, Butler is embodiment of hatred in the in, in this chapter. Like, Butler, you cannot see it if you have no love. Remember. Okay. Yeah, there are three mysteries left, like this whole series like a mystery. Bato had landed countered my already uh, countered my first powerful move, the 18th person X, by making the number of people on the island 17. But just limiting the number of people to 17 didn't overturn the theory that Aunt Eva was the culprit. That's true. I can crush most of the murders in this game. Uh, in the third game this way. Like, Eva could use sleeping pills on Kraus and uh, Matsuhi, could strangle them, or oh, there's a lot of stuff that she could do, like Hideyoshi could be in this, Kiria and uh, Rudolf could try to get some information from Hideyoshi and Eva learned about this, went to them, the fight started, Hideyoshi died in the fight, then Eva survived, stuff like that, you know? Blood dripped from all over the body of the Golden Witch. I cornered her, this time fruitfully without mercy. This isn't a game, play to decide who wins and who loses. Yeah, we aren't playing. Even the time I spent playing and fighting like this delays my trip home. In her isolation, Angie will continue to have her heart torn apart 
by loneliness and sadness. I have to go back to Anjay as fast as I can. She's falling over. We still have fourth game as well. Fourth game. Yo, nice. He's just confirming that she's like still trying to fight actually. <laughs> wow. Come on, let's do it. She so want to be dead. What the hell? I swear, Umineko, just do one thing and don't shatter my motive theory. I swear, if you shatter that fu Actually, motive theory is for episode 4, so we're still getting information for episode 4. So it makes sense, it could, it could change. Okay, so I'm fine with that. If you present something that I can use, then that's fine, because this is going to be like in the next TV. Wait, what? Oh. Wow, she, she loves tormenting Butler. Like, seriously. Yep, getting mad. I think like Butler will do some uh, like very stupid mistake at some point because she's taunting him so much with Angie and everything so his mind will get clouded by rage and everything I think like he will make a mistake and he will lose that way the, the red web of truth, will you shatter it? Yeah. <laughs> She cut violently, spitting up blood. Her insides had been punched through so many times. It was only natural. Yep, she can still do that, like she can just wait until the end and being like on the verge of death and she will just snap her fingers, use red and everything on blue that Butler just presented will collapse. That can like entirely, it's entirely possible that it could happen. Yeah, she still have some red truth in her sleeve, I guess. Yep. That's not what Butler want actually, because this is like again you trying to give up basically. <laughs> Why? 
What the hell is happening? That's false. Unless my theory is right. On Kuvatorian Beatrice. Beatrice died in Kuvatorian, but she never died, so... As we know, name doesn't tell I. So we have Beatrice, and Beatrice, Beatrice, and I. Perfect sense. She just confirmed what I thought. I mean confirmed. It's white text, but still. She just said what I thought. This whole game started way before Umineko started. Like Umineko started in the first game, right? And it was first game for the reader. But for her it was like 100 times already. So the grand, grand kid of Kinzo, the butler, that she started the game, actually might be like ancestor. And, and because the names are of heritage here, then Beatrice... What was the red truth? Beatrice started the game or I started the game? Actually by staring I, she might mean Beatrice, like in general as a title. So when she, she said that I started the game, then she technically didn't right? So this game started like way back, and for like uh, the reason why is this happening, we need to go back in time probably. I think we cannot find motive in the current games. We need to find motive in the park. Sorry. Okay, you're crazy. It's also gracious show of boldness, unchanged from before. But blood dripped from her mouth. Her once beautiful dress was covered with holes, and blood poured from all over her body, making her physical appearance stand in sharp contrast to her attitude. Maybe the shot she'd taken to the flanks was still tormenting her, since she was still pressing down on it unconsciously, without a trace of grace. But I've got no time for pity. As long as I feel sympathy for the switch, my family and I won't be re released from this place. Until I defeat her, we won't be able to go home. In the outside world, it may be possible for even enemies to understand each other when circumstances change. But pure evil does exist. Evil that brings misfortune just by existing, and is to be spared no compromise. Just by its continued existence alone, it's evil. Man, she started pitting you like in the episode 3. But on the other hand, that was just illusion, so. I reformed a little bit. Yeah, she kind of reformed a little bit. Wow. What? Wow. <laughs> Making him choose who he will he want to like kill first. Wow. What a torment. She was like total crazy mode. And Jay again. Wow. 
That's the only thing that triggers Butler at this point. Okay. Let's see. What kind of bullshit theory will you make that I never thought about? David Besson X has been defeated. But I won't give in. I will stop that witch be briefing cold. The end of the third game. It was announced in red that the survivors at that point in time Butler, Eva, Jessica, and Nanjo were all in uninvolved of Nanjo murder. That's two butlers still? What if like there's like another butler that actually is still alive? And she mean... Nah, nah, that doesn't make sense. It was uh, also proclaimed that uh, he was murdered directly by someone before he dies. Yep, that we remember. That's like what making this difficult. All other people had the strongest possible alibi by having the death proclaimed in red. I will break through this without using the 18th person X. Okay, how? Think, don't stop thinking. Her red doesn't only bind me, it's also supposed to be her weak point. I've got to somehow use it against her. That's right. There's still a gap. Okay? Yeah, this way I can break through it. This way Beatrice's legend of the witch is finished. What the f Oh, so he just yeah, so he's just uh, making a theory that I don't know if I talk about this or not. Maybe. Maybe he mentioned this in the episode three actually. Either he mentioned this in the episode three or. I thought about this like on the video or in the discord I'm not sure like someone could like kill Nanjo being fatally wounded and die after Nanjo you know or he could have accident also if all uh, deaths would be murderers the murders then being killed by Nanjo also counts as the murder so, if Nanjo killed the murderer in the self-defense, it's still counting as murder. So, yeah, that's possible that that culprit just died after Nanjo. It was in the fight between me and Eva after Dr. Naja Corpse was found. After Corpse was found. Yeah. Yeah. I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I mentioned that. That possibility that someone died after killing Nanjo. So basically, Eva was helping the culprit. I'm to recheck the episode 3 Red Truths. It's like, who is confirmed dead by Red before the Red Web of Truth? Who was confirmed dead in between? That would like cut the amount of people who could da kill Nanjo actually. Yeah. Yeah, this is pretty much what I thought. Like, 
culprit dying after killing Nanjo. That's like the easiest like thing you can make. If uh, deaths are not confirmed by red like beforehand. How's that Beatrice? When he was fully asked this question, there was a terrible sound that could only be uh, li uh, likened to that of the compressor and the blue stake that was as thick as a log appeared from under the earth and screwed the gold witch Beato, pulling her up into the air. Well, shit. Ugly tearing sounds rang out and each time a blue stake or witch would appear and pierce Beato's body. That's brutal. When that finally ended, her tragic form was exposed there, poking, uh, pin cushioned by more than 10 stakes and wedges all over her body and dripping with blood, dangling and crucified. Oh shit! Oh crap. Okay. Okay. There was none of the dignity of the brutal witch who had sneered at the honor of the dead and toyed with and killed thousands of living. Oh my god. That's brutal, what the fuck. Also, this is the first time I see Beato legs. I think. Let me check the tip menu. Yeah, she was always covered. She had, like, boots with ribbons. Is that telling me anything? Like, boots with ribbons? Is that telling me anything? Boots? Ribbons? Anyone? No? Uh... Okay. Shalom? Nah. The rain, which had started falling at some point, quietly tormented the crucified witch. As Butler heavied with his bre uh, breathing, he waited for some kind of answer from the Golden Witch. Although it wasn't long, it took the witch a bit of time to show any signs of life. Yeah, I can see it hurts. I can see that. Even as he said that, it seems Butler had lost a little of his momentum at his extremely pathetic side. Even if it was an enemy, he couldn't like strike at the woman exposed in such a brutal fashion. But even so, Unless he destroyed Beatrice, this battle wouldn't end. She's crying. Huh? Battle without the soul. Die, I'm begging. Oh my god, die. Why? We're begging Beatrice. On the verge of death and the dying music. Why? Finish me? What the fuck? Maybe she's actually good, maybe she wants to die because she knows she was doing bad things but no one could kill her before. And Butter is the first person who can actually like release her from the pain and like despair that she feels for, the, for all these years. What is happening? Why it's sad? Oh, 
の圧力が感動して What the fuck? That expression of salt with blood and tears. Butter certainly had been tricked by her at one point. So he was probably able to suspect that her expression, that even her tears, were an act. However, Butler believed in those tears. After all those tears, and the red of truth mixed in with them. Oh my god. The thing that she didn't want him to hear in the episode 3, so he, he like, closed his ears. What? What's happening? Look at her face, oh my god. <sighs> oh, this ear is in pain, probably. <laughs> What's her backstory? Who's Beato? Were those tears from pain and torment? Or else, either way that pathetic expression was painful for, for Butler to look at, even after burning with such anger. Spanking him for that. Oh. <laughs> what? In her last breaths, Beato summoned up all of her remaining strength and managed to close both of her hands into fists. A red light began to gather at those fists. Then shredded at her arms. As they were appealing to the heavens for something. All of me. <sighs> Fucking hell. The red light around both her arms gradually began to strengthen. Still begging. After seeing that much, her face tilted to the side a bit. Then her right arm lost its light and flopped down. But her left arm alone did not lose its light and remained. Held out towards the heavens. Is she a ghost now? Then before Butter eyes, another Beato appeared with a faint fall and transport like a curtain. I swear this is the Covadorian Beato, this one. I, s I, I, I swear my theory is right. I swear I'm right. Maybe not right because I fucked up with the uh, tree gene genealogy basically but okay the crucified beato had already lost consciousness 
However, the newly appeared Queen Beato quietly looked at me. Her eyes expressionless and spoke. Or is it the one that she does just died and she's appeared here for before him? That's different voice. And it's in red, what the hell? Excuse me, what? Huh? Oh, how would you explain this? If I kill you now, that's her last passion. If you get killed by someone now, and you're the only person on the island who killed you, basically. Okay, what the fuck is going on? Will we blame this on accident? I understand. This is the last mystery Beatrice will be able to make as a witch. She's trying to offer it to me. Entreating me to solve this final mystery and kill her. What the hell? If you are dead, you cannot solve shit. Okay. I am not you. So you cannot like blame it on like being delusional and making suicide basically. これから兄と殺す。何城先生殺しの望みを京花殿ってわけか。それだ。私は誰？Yeah, that's what I'm interested in. I have fucking no idea. I have some suspicious and stuff, but... Whoa, that's new music. That's new music. Holy shit. Whoa. Whoa! What? Oh my god, this is beautiful. Then Beatrice slowly approached me and still expressionless held me. I like the soundtrack. Oh my god, what is this? She looks like she's in love with him. Like, actually. What is this music? I could probably translate this, like bits of this. Okay, but I will do this later. <laughs> you just have to like let me know what kind. Of, what is this soundtrack? Yeah, let me know in the comments. Yeah, I get it, Beato. I will kill you. Don't worry. What is this? I also slowly held her head, uh, head head. Then I, as a piece, left the game board. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh no! Butler no, in the in nine. Wait, wait, wait. That, that, that was a date. That was the that was the like he died in nineteen like 
86 or 08? Wait, what? There was, there was a date, there was a date, there was some kind of date, what the fuck? How is... Okay, I... Oh my god, I just imagined this having... This being the only episode available at the time. What is this ending? Oh my god. So this is the final mystery that every Omineko player have to discover. Who's Beatrice? And that's the conclusion for the question arc. I mean, there's still like question marks episode. My brain just melted. I have like fart in my brain right now. And my hands are like shaking. I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh shit. What is this? My notes. I I don't know when I will do like theory on this. Like this will take forever. Oh my god. Anyway, I will read the uh, question marks probably. Maybe now. Maybe not. I don't know. But that concludes the tea party. Uh it's probably two episodes or maybe three. I think I will try to make this a two episode. Think. I think I did like four recording sessions actually for this. So, yeah. Anyway, that was the party, so... I didn't expect this to go this way. I... I'm just like... What's... Also, I never thought about this, also. Like, if Butler would be, like, the only one who was, like, alive at the island and they all were killed by someone, who killed them? How will you... It doesn't make sense. Anyway, I will think about this later. Like, seriously, it's late and I still want to, like, edit some stuff and everything. Oh my god. I think I know why you guys love Omineko so much. I don't know. Maybe we're all just like... Weird people here. <laughs> anyway, thank you for joining for this episode. For this amazing tea party and... Yeah, I will see you in the tea party that is not for the humans. So, thank you and follow Pocket Watch. It's going to help.